Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm bringing you a video, which is something that I haven't done in a long time. And I do intend to continue to keep this YouTube channel for a long time, for forever. I don't have any plans of ever getting rid of it, um, and posting videos from time to time. In fact, I still have a great passion for making videos, it's just that I haven't had the ability to do so in quite a while because of just busyness and some other things going on in my life lately. But today I am actually making a video um, because I have sort of a big secret to tell you. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details right now, but um, I, this is something that I've been working on for the past six months, or mo actually more than six months. And some of my close friends know about it, but no, I have never told anyone officially on, in like publicly um, before. So. Here's the secret. Um, I'm basically selling most of my movie collection. Um, I'm I'm still keeping all of my favorite stuff, um, and I'm I'm just selling all of the excess. If if you guys don't know, if you check out my my collection overview videos, I just have a ton of stuff. In my collection, I'm still going to have a very large collection, and I'm still going to do a lot of movie related videos in the future. Um, so that's not going to end. It's just a matter of getting the time to do so. And I, I can see that that's going to happen. As the kids get a little older, I'm going to have a little bit more time. Right now, with the two of them, it's been really difficult. Um, the only thing that I will say um, about as for my reasons for um, selling the collection, um, the one of the main factors is that I've actually been very sick um, for a while. I, I, I was very, very sick. I'm not going to go into the details of it. Um, I'm actually still dealing with this. Uh, I'm probably going to be dealing with it maybe for the rest of my life. Um, but I, it's a lot better than it was, like by far. Um, I was actually not able to work for quite a while um, because of it, but now I'm back at work. I, I am working under some doctor restrictions, but I'm back at work. But the purpose of this video today is that I'm actually going to be selling off one chunk of my collection that I thought might interest people here, so I thought I'd give the opportunity to you guys first before I go and put it on eBay. And I do a lot of eBay selling. Usually I just go straight to eBay because in the past when I've offered up stuff here on YouTube, you get a lot of annoying comments, but I've gotten to the point where I don't, I have so much else going on, I don't even care. You guys, if I, I don't care about the negativity that I might get, um, I'm just trying to offer stuff up. If you guys don't want it, then you don't have to buy it. This isn't a charity. I know I was sick and I was actually paying my bills by selling off pieces of the collection, but this is not uh, me asking for charity. So please do not buy anything unless it's something that you really want. And also, where do I get my prices? Um, I, I went on eBay and this is how I do with at, whenever I sell something out of my collection, I'm not looking to put it up for an extreme amount of money that I think is what I want to get for it. I go on eBay, I look at what they're selling for. Um, I, I usually sell things buy it now. Um, so I, I sort out by buy it now and I look for the cheapest one and then I try to beat that cheapest price or match it. If mine is better condition than the one that's cheapest, I'm gonna at least match it, maybe be a couple of dollars more because mine's a better a better um, condition. So basically, um, everything I'm showing you today is in like new or brand new condition. There might be a couple little um, dings and dents that I'll, I'll try to point out as I see them, uh, but for the most part, um, everything is in perfect condition. There, there's just one title in particular I'm thinking of that I have to show you something on. Um, but yeah, so before I show you the actual titles, these are all going to be Blu-ray digibooks. Most of them are U.S. releases, but there are quite a few imports, which are, and there are some very um, rare and valuable ones. So when you hear a couple, there's going to be some prices towards the end that are higher, um, that are quite high. But that's what I know I can get for it on eBay um, because that's what they're selling for, and there are some that are just extremely rare that I have. Um, my digibooks were actually probably my favorite thing, and my favorite portion of my entire collection was probably my digibooks. I love them, and it's really hard for me to, to sell them, but um, that's why I kind of waited so long to sell them. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be the rules for, for buying. What you're going to do is you're going to have to, if you want to buy something, you have to send me an email. Um, it's RobbieWebster at Yahoo.com. Very easy. And in the title, just write Blu-ray sale so that I'll know what it's for. And there's a lot, there's some specific information you have to give me. Um, I need you to, and I only accept PayPal. Uh, for those of you who have ever watched my To Catch a Thief video, you'll understand why I only accept PayPal. Um, so you have to have a PayPal account. I can't do it any other way, and I, I have no interest in doing it any other way because I, I'd rather just sell it on eBay. The whole purpose of this is not just to offer it to you, but also to save myself the eBay 
fee that they collect. Um, and also selling to someone else in the movie community is better than selling it to a stranger. Um, not, I mean, I guess I don't really care that much, but anyhow. So what you have to provide me with is uh, tell me which films you want to buy and send me your PayPal information, which is just an email address usually that, um, that I would send, then send you an invoice. So after I get the, if, after I get your request uh, for what you want to buy, I'll send you an invoice as quickly as I can. It, I, I am working and I have two kids, so I will do it as quickly as I can. Everything that sells will be shipped within a day or two. Um, I'm very good about that. Um, and it will be packaged very well. Um, you don't have to worry about me. Uh, I'm a long time collector um, and I know how frustrating it can be to get something damaged in the mail. So um, let me think, what else do I need to say? Okay, in the past when I've done a sale like this, I'll get a lot of people that request something and I was putting that item on hold and sending the person an invoice, but then the person never paid. So then all these other people are asking and I'm saying, I'm sorry, but someone else already beat you to it. That's not how it's going to work this time. If you ask me for something, you're going to get an invoice for it. And the, um, if someone else asks me for the same thing, I'm going to give them an invoice too. Whoever pays first gets the item. If you don't pay, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to retract to the uh, invoice and let you know that someone else already bought it. I'm sorry, but someone else already got it. So once you get the invoice, you need to pay as soon as you can, just in case anyone else, you know, did it at the same time or whatever um, and yeah I think that's basically it so yeah PayPal we're all protected on PayPal uh, that's the way to go so let's get to showing the movies uh, there's a, a bunch they range anywhere from ten dollars up to fifty dollars for some of the rare ones so but there's a lot of ones in between that fifteen to twenty dollar actually more than half of them probably fifteen or ten to twenty dollars so um, let's take a look at what I have here and I am actually in my master bedroom right now uh, so sorry for the messy bed I just tore the bed apart I needed to work downstairs because the upstairs were doing a lot of projects and sorry for talking so long <laughs> in the beginning but let's just start off really quick this is the ten dollars um, digibooks like I said they're all in like new condition got the matrix the hustler the Tuskegee Airmen Rocky there's great artwork on a lot of these too. I should probably show some of that. Um, but I don't really want to make this too long of a video. The Comancheros and Taxi Driver. And if anyone wants more detailed photos, like I said, everything is in like new condition. But if you want to see like some of the uh, the back art, I have photos of all that stuff. So I can send you an, that in an email as well. And feel free to ask me any questions. Um, these are all the $15, $15 right here. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This one's amazing artwork. Green Mile. Full Metal Jacket. The Outlaw Josie Wales. 300. A Clockwork Orange. And this one pains me to let it go. <laughs> the Big Lebowski. This one's great too. And then the Color Purple. Those are all $15. Now on to the $20 items. Let me just put these back so they're all in order. Malcolm X. Deliverance. Driving Miss Daisy. Falling Down. The Man Who Would Be King. Blade Runner. The Killing Fields. This one's brand new. Sorry, the kids are um, a little fussy out there. Uh, my wife has them in the living room. Uh, Papillon. This, this is brand new as well. The Town. Chariots of Fire. And All Quiet on the Western Front. This is a UK edition right here. So I believe that is Region B locked. Um, I'm not sure about what's locked and what's not locked. But just assume that all of the imports are locked. I'm pretty sure that with the Digibooks, pretty much all of them are locked. And there's not a whole lot, but I'll let you know whenever one is an import. If I don't say anything, it's not an import. Okay, Unforgiven, these are $25. Tora, Tora, Tora. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. E.T. Amadeus. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. A Streetcar Named Desire, brand new. Gladiator, this is a UK import. Citizen Kane. The 1933 King Kong. And I forgot to say, it is going to be... Um, $3 shipping per item, but if you buy um, 
two to, two or more movies, uh, it's free shipping. Okay, down here, these are all $30. This is the one I wanted to tell you about that has a little bit of uh, um, condition issues. Um, the corners are a little bit, you know, you can see the kind of bent there and there. Um, this was the best copy I was able to get. I bought this movie probably 20 times and kept returning it, returning it, returning it, trying to get one that was in better condition. But there is actually only one of these on eBay right now, and it's selling for $59.99, so that's why I priced mine at $35. It does have a couple condition issues, but it's still in basically perfect condition um, otherwise, other than those dings on the corners. So there's, like I showed you, hopefully you can see that. So $35, um, Empire of the Sun. The Dark Knight Rises, Lenticular Digibook. I love this one. This one, I gotta show you some of the artwork on this. It's just like breathtaking artwork. It's my favorite release of this movie. Amazing. And there's a comic book inside, I believe, yes. Uh, West Side Story. Bonnie and Clyde. This one's pretty rare um, and it's brand new. King Kong, this is a UK import and To Kill a Mockingbird, which is also a UK import. Um, actually, I did I say 35? These are 30. Yes, these are all 30. Sorry. I meant to say 30. These two right here are 35. These are very rare. Um, this is the Terminator and the French import of Alien. And you cannot find this on anywhere in the U.S. You cannot get this if you're in the U.S. unless you have someone in France buy it for you or something. Um, it is not anywhere on eBay. Actually, there's uh, several of these that you cannot get on eBay in the U.S. Um, the next one is one of those. These are $50 right here. This one is, is, actually no, this one is available on eBay, but I think it's like $75, the one I saw. This is brand new and still sealed. It's going for $50, Forrest Gump. And Schindler's List, this is a UK import. This is a French import and this is a UK import. So, Whoa, that was probably a weird angle. <laughs> so that's it. I'm sorry that the video went so long. I blabbered on a lot in the video in the beginning, but I'll hopefully put a skip annotation if they still do those. I haven't posted a video with one of those in like, oh man, two years. So I'll probably try to do that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And remember, if you want to place an order, send me an email to RobbieWebster at Yahoo.com. If you have any questions or concerns, just... Pop me a message there or post it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer everything. And um, yeah, I'll ship everything in one to two days. Shipping is $3 per movie. But if you buy two or more, it's free shipping. Um, and I only accept PayPal. And I will send you an invoice once you give me your PayPal information. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.